I saw a star fall from heaven, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. From the scriptures, blessings, and down, Gary loves you. Hello, everybody. My name is Jeremy, and welcome to Horror Week, Horror Month, Spooky Season, whatever you want to call it. And this. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. Welcome to Faith. Unholy Trinity. The first game that I play on here, and it is loud in my ear. I hate this. I am changing that. About that. Yeah, about that. I can actually, like, talk now. Use a crucifix. I love that. Uh, listen, I'm not trying to prolong it. I promise. Let's 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 get into it. Chapter one. Uh, back to new game notes. There's 20 notes, and that's something I gotta point out too. And I'm again, to not trying to stall. There's a really good story to this. That's why I chose to play this. On top of it being scary, um, the top of the art style that I really. It's, and there's a really good story, but I have to, like, take notes and pay attention. I do know that much. Because there's something going on in this game. Flashlight mode, not unlocked. Lantern mode, turbo. Let's go. There we go. So, like I said, it's a pixelated game. This is important. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. If you get lost, you can always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. So you can get start. Oh! So it gives you a map here. So resume, notes, option. There's notes there. Okay. This note is missing. This note is missing. Okay. So this is important. Okay. Options, quit, exit. Alright. Alright, so... We don't have to rush into any of this. We're gonna try not to bother the... Uh, cold chills. Cold chills already all up and down my body. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not going near that well. I'm getting cold chills. I know the art style is not that bad, but I am. I am just going straight. I have no idea where I'm going. Man, I'm getting cold chills. So I've been through here before, right? I have not been through here. I have not been through here. I've been through here, I feel like. Okay, so there's a well, so I should go right if I see the well again. Okay. If I ever see the well again. Also, it seems like the demon comes from the left hand side. Well, that sucks. Right off the bat. Touched for the very first time. Die for the first time. So this is a game that you die a lot in. So, great. Alright, let's see if this note changed any. Okay. So there's a tree, there's a well, and then house. So if I get to the well, I want to take a run. Well, if I get to the well, I want to keep going straight, because I think that's the main house. Come here. Nope. Alright. So do I want to go the way it came? There's the big tree. Alright. So now I want to go... Oh, 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 oh. Don't like that at all. Hate that. I want to try to stay in the middle of the map, I think. If that thing comes at me, I can... Oh, my crucifix is up. Okay. Worship me, huh? Oh! Interesting, I know! Check it out! Mr. Martin, it has taken longer than expected re registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who is buried there. The inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've set the gravestone rubber rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best. Daryl Henderson. State of Connecticut Historical Society. Alright, so let's take some notes here. Connecticut, right? Connecticut. Okay. Uh, grave... Grave unidentified. And all together. So, yeah, I'm trying to take notes because, like I said, there's a bigger story going on here. And I'm not sure what's going on. You little shit. Man, every time I. I know y'all can't, you can probably see a little bit of it. I've got goosebumps. <laughs> even in this. Even in this, I'm getting goosebumps. And this has been a ridiculous amount how hard this has been to get here. I I'm going to die like 50 times. <laughs> but, we want to try following the notes. I've already got that one. So let's keep going. Alright, so I'm going to keep going straight. Awesome. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, well that's odd. Literally looks like you're just run straight up the... Aha! Uh -huh. You're invited! Come celebrate Nate and Jason's 6th birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions, turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road, go straight to the well, past the well. So straight, past the well. It's kind of telling you what's going on. But, so note two here, Nate, Jason, Nate and Jason, Nate and Jason's 6th birthday. This might be nothing... May 3rd. Might be nothing. Might be nothing. But, I know the house is straight. From the well. So I'm finally gonna get there, I think. I think. There it is. Okay. Okay, love that. So that means I gotta go down from the house. I gotta go at an angle here to get to that. That's probably where the key is at, unfortunately. Oh, what is that? Uh, excuse me. Oh, this is um, I don't really want to fall that. But you're gonna make me. I'm gonna do this. One. I hate that. Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. Bob, the kids and I miss you more than every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. Twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, a pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. So Bob is the... So Bob... So we know Bob is Nate and Jason's dad. Okay, we know they're homeschooled. Right? So I'm gonna answer the things here. Hold on, just a second, uh... Part of me is just trying to, you know, you're like, who are you talking this late night? It's, it's, uh, it's late. You're like, it's late. Like, yeah, it's late. I know. Okay, so no Bob. Saw the twins go there. I'm guessing that I have to follow the twins over here. Oh, there's another note. Don't come at me like from a bad angle here. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. The tree's just out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the right. The path, Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to 
proceed with the elements of the rites that may seem harsh to the lay person. Okay. Okay, well, what do I... Okay. Yes, I go back? Oh. Let's no! No! More this. You see how this goes for me? I, I do terrible at war games. You know what? Let's just... Let's see what happens. Oh, I just circled me out. Yeah. Okay. Just, just to see. Just to see if there's anything missing. Just to see. Sorry, I'll loop me. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to see. So where is this stinking key at? That's what I'm having a hard time. What? Why? Why right off the bat? Why right off the bat? Oh, is the game like saying, hey dummy? Follow us. What is this? Hey, there's a note. I caught some people walking through the woods around the house last week. Not kids, just regular adults. They told me they got lost while hiking. I pointed them back toward the road. The whole thing just didn't feel right. I think I should go dig up Bob's rifle out of storage. Hey, rifle? No, no, come here. Get out of here. Son of a bitch. I'm tired of it. God, the kids are just like, follow me. Get out of here. So I gotta face it. I gotta, I like, go at it. Okay. So I'm here. Oh. Oh. I don't like that. Get out of there. I saw you coming. Alright. Got the key. The game was finally like, dude. You sucker! Oh! Do I have the key? Okay. The game's kind of like, okay, dude, come on. <laughs> the game's like, alright, dude, come on. The game's feeling bad for me now. They're like, okay, come on. Don't, look, I gotta get out of the edge of the map. I gotta get in the middle of the map. Get out of here. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? I've already done the well. I know it's straight from the well. Don't come at me no more. Don't come at me no more. That's what I would say every time I see you. Oh, I don't like that at all. Enter the house once again. Well, time is it right now? <laughs> time is it right now? Um, it's saved. I think I'll stop here for now. <laughs> I think we'll just we'll just give you a little tease right there. No, whatever. No, no. I'll, we'll keep going. Whatever. We'll keep going. I ain't no baby. Mr. and Mrs. Mark greeted us at the front porch. Mr. 
Martin led him downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in restraints. It felt for him there were, was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe look, the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Okay. Oh, it is eerily quiet, and I do not like it. Give another note there. Thank you. Ooh. Let's do it again. Nope. Okay. I do not like that it's quiet. We are going to... Yep, we're ending now. <laughs> We are ending now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I know it's a short video. We're just getting into it, but I am just like, it's late. I got to get some sleep, do some things before I leave for a trip tomorrow. So I know it's not very long, but hey, we got all month, right? I'm going to be focused on this game and maybe one other game that I'll be playing. So thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next one.